Here is how you should start all of your ChatGPT prompts. You are a digital marketing expert and you specialize in user behavior and research. I want you to create a buyer persona for my, and then you add in your business type, and then you say called, and then you add in your business name, and then we specialize in, and then you state what does your business, your product, or your service do. So here is a real example. You are a digital marketing expert and you specialize in user behavior and research. I want you to create a buyer persona for my AI powered marketing software called AI Lead Builder. The software is an all-in-one marketing platform designed for businesses that are owner operated and have a marketing budget of at least $500 per month. It simplifies running online ads, creating and scheduling social media posts and staying in touch with potential and current customers by using the power of AI and automation. AI Lead Builder is actually my own platform. So this prompt will create a buyer persona for you, which will make all your follow up ChatGPT questions so much more powerful. Example, if you wanted to create Facebook ads, it will create Facebook ads specifically tailored for your buyer persona. The same thing will happen if you ask it to write email copy or sales page copy. Even if you are just analyzing data or even if you are just brainstorming a business idea. By you starting with creating a buyer persona, your output will now be tailored specifically for them. Let's try it out. This example is actually for my new AI powered platform called AI Lead Builder. And as you can see, it has given me a detailed buyer persona. It has even given it a name. It has given us some background, some demographics, goals, challenges, values, where they get the information, objections, marketing messages. It has even given me an elevator pitch as well. And then at the end, it even states, this persona outlines the typical user of AI Lead Builder, focusing on their needs, preferences, and potential objections. Tailoring your marketing strategies to address Digital Dave's profile will help in effectively reaching and converting your target audience. Now, what this has done, it has actually given me a great starting point. So now I can follow up with any questions and it is going to use this buyer persona as a reference. Let me give you an example. So now for the next prompt, I'm simply asking it, act as Frank Kern and give me some ideas to market to my buyer persona. For those of you who don't know who Frank Kern is, he is one of the best digital marketers out there. And let's try it out. As you can see, ChatGPT states, as Frank Kern, one of the most respected figures in the digital marketing industry, known for direct response marketing and creating effective customer acquisition strategies, and then it goes on and gives me the recommendations, and then it further states, by employing these strategies, you're not just selling a product, you're positioning AI Lead Builder as an indispensable tool for business growth. It's about creating a connection with your target audience by demonstrating an understanding of their challenges and offering a solution that meets their needs. Remember, successful marketing is about building relationships and providing value every step of the way. And this is so true and so powerful. Now, can you see how detailed my responses are? Now, had I not started with the buyer persona, I would have not been able to get these types of answers from ChatGPT. Now, let's go one step further. So, I'll give it another prompt and now I will state, create a Facebook ad in the style of Frank Kern, encouraging my buyer persona to sign up for a free trial. And let's see what it gives us. Now, as you can see, it has given me some great copy and this sounds exactly like Frank Kern. So it has given me a headline, unlock your business's full potential with AI Lead Builder. And then it says, hey there business owners, Frank Kern here. Now, obviously I don't want it to say Frank Kern here, so I will remove that part. So I can now go over this whole output and see what I like from it and what I don't like from it. And then I can go back and forth with ChatGPT until I get it exactly how I want it. And this is key as well. Don't just take the first output that ChatGPT gives you. If you are not happy with it, tell it you are not happy with it. Or if you wanted to add something in, ask it to add something in. Remember, ChatGPT doesn't have any feelings. So if you tell it that you are not happy with the output, you are not going to hurt its feelings. And then at the end, it even states, 
This ad format leverages Frank Kern's direct and conversational style, combining a strong value proposition with a personal touch that speaks directly to the challenges and goals of the target audience. Now that is critical because it is saying that it speaks to the target audience and that is our buyer persona. The use of emotive language combined with practical benefits and a clear call to action is designed to motivate immediate engagement. Now this is actually a great Facebook ad, but those of you who have been following me for a while know that I will still give it my favorite prompt in order to get this copy even better. And that prompt is, I want you to now act as the buyer persona and critique this ad. Now what this is going to do, it is now going to act as the buyer persona and then critique this ad. <laughs> Now, as you can see, it has finished critiquing that ad and it has given me positives, personal touch, pain points addressed, clear benefits, strong call to action. And then it gives me critiques and suggestions for improvement. And then it states specific features and differentiators, testimonials or success stories, visuals, ROI emphasis, additional feedback, security and privacy concerns, learning curve. And then it states overall the ad is compelling and speaks well to my needs and challenges. However, incorporating more specific features, success stories and additional reassurances about ease of use and data security could make it even more persuasive. Now, can you see, had I not asked it to critique the ad, I would have never even thought about these objections and suggestions. And then lastly, I will simply just state, rewrite and implement all of the suggestions in the style of Frank Kern. And then obviously that will do it for me. But can you see how this all started just by creating a buyer persona? Now, if you were to have a look at my platform, AI Lead Builder, you can just head over to AILeadBuilder.com. Hit the like button if you found this video useful. And if you want to learn more about AI, this video may be useful to you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.